there's lots of different types of earth building. We've got rammed earth, cob, adobe brick, light earth. There's other types of building like straw bale. They're beautiful buildings, they're healthy, they are made, usually made with local materials, low embodied energy, low carbon, they're really good environmentally. There's a lot of labour but it can suit low skilled labour so it's great for owner builders or community building. Really love the feel of straw bale. So that's what drew us to build with straw uh, many years ago and we finally uh, managed to build ourselves which is great. The best thing about living in a straw bale house is the, or any earth house, but my experience with straw is that just beautiful, warm, comfortable, cool in summer, easy to heat, they're, they're super insulated with a lot of um, thermal mass on the inside so they hold the temperature, um, great acoustics, they, they have a lovely humidity which you get with all earth buildings, the um, clay moderates the internal humidity of the building, it keeps it at a really nice level for human health. And the, the other thing is just the, the aesthetic of it, the beauty, and the, all, the ama all the different finishes you can do in different ways. You can make them organic and, and uh, funky and round, or you can make them straight and square if that's what you like. In the South Island earthquakes, no earth buildings built to the standards were significantly damaged. There were earth buildings destroyed, and there were historic buildings that hadn't been maintained, and there were buildings that had been built not to the standard that were, were damaged, but no buildings built to the standards were damaged significantly in those earthquakes. So the standards are, uh, are awesome, they've proved their worth, but they're 20 years old now, and to keep them relevant, we've, we've got to keep them up to date, and we can make them better. Uh, we can add new techniques, new research. This is an opportunity to really bring them up to date and make them a really powerful tool to take us into the future with the building industry and, and really make this something that's available and useful both for the earth building community but also the mainstream building industry in terms of giving them some options for using low embodied energy, low carbon, environmentally friendly materials. We've got to change the industry. We've, it's a polluting, energy intense industry. Our houses don't last. They're poor quality, they're unhealthy. Earth building is a really obvious way to start addressing some of these issues. And these standards are, you know, it's going to make it happen. It's going to help make it available to architects and designers and make it easier for owner builders to, um, to achieve their goals. So we're seeking public support to help get this revision through. This is an amazing opportunity to support something really constructive that's going to make a difference and keep New Zealand at the forefront of earth building internationally.